steps in paper chromatography. First one is preparation of sample. Second one is application of sample. Then third step in paper chromatography is third step in paper chromatography is preparation of mobile case. Then fourth process or fourth step is development. Then the last step of paper chromatography, last step of paper chromatography is location or detection, location or detection of spots. So in our previous class, we are done with the three steps up to preparation of mobile phase. In this class, we will see the next two steps that is development of chromatogram and then location or detection of spots. Now, let me erase it and I will continue with the developmental, different developmental techniques which can be used in case of paper chromatography. Development in paper chromatography, girls, it can be done in four ways. One is ascending, ascending developmental method, then you have descending developmental method, then you have radial, radial developmental method. And the last one is two dimensional development method. Two dimensional development method. Two dimensional development method. Now let us see two dimensions. Now let us see the first one which is ascending development method. So consider this is the mobile case chamber which is filled with mobile case. Then you don't dip the paper completely into the mobile case chamber. Please keep it at little above. This is origin. Now, in ascending, chromato ascending paper chromatography, what will happen is, the mobile phase will rise up the paper. The mobile phase will rise up the paper. The only force of the movement of mobile phase on the paper over here is capillary action. So, the mobile phase is moving on the paper by the help of this capillary force or capillary action. Suppose, our mobile phase will travel up to this distance on the paper. It is called as this particular thing. It is called as solvent front. And this line you know, already know it, right? It is origin. Origin is the place where we do our spotting or sampling on the paper. So, the point on the paper up to which the mobile phase has travelled, it is called as solvent front. So, in case of paper chromatography, ascending paper chromatography, you remember one point was P. 
please the mobile face is rising up the paper it is traveling up the paper in the upward direction and the only force is capillary action with the help of capillary force or capillary action the mobile face is moving up the paper now coming to descending paper from mitography Girls, in descending paper chromatography, you have big, big mobile face chambers. Now, you have big mobile face chambers, and you have arrangements over here on which into which you will fill your mobile face, and over here you have you know arrangements to fix your paper. You can. Fix your paper over here directly. Think this is the origin. Now what happens, girls, over here? The mobile face is moving down the paper. The mobile face is moving down the paper. So here there are two forces which are helping in the movement of mobile face down the paper. One is the capillary action as you know and the second one is girls what is the force which are, you know which pulls down the things which is pulling gravitational, gravitational force so gravitational force also gravitational pull of the earth also will help in the downward movement of mobile face on the paper so girls the development descending development technique is very quick because the movement is you know helped or assisted by both capillary action but and also gravitational force so the development descending occurred very quickly but you will get better resolution in case of ascending chromatography compared to descending chromatography and if it is if your mobile face travels up to this point what is this called solvent, solvent front it is called a solvent front actually there are Watman filter papers, you know, small Watman filter papers which are circular in shape, they are available. So, what can you do is, you can do it in petri dishes. This thing you can do it in small scale even in petri dishes. You know, petri dishes you will prepare your agas, your mediums, everything. So, what happens over here in radial chromatography or radial development to be precise? You will do the Spotting with the help of a capillary tube on the center of the paper. On the center of the paper, you know, in this center only, you will attach one wick, a thread like structure, and you will insert your paper or you keep carefully place your paper in the petri dish. So, what will happen? The mobile case will travel through the wick onto the paper. And the separated components in the mixture, they appear as concentric circles. You will not get spots in case of radial chromatography. Instead, you will get them as concentric circles. Hence the name radial chromatography. Now, the last one is two-dimensional method. Girls, if you have a very complex mixture with you, if you have a very complex mixture with you, if one mobile phase or one solvent system is not enough,
then you can go for this two dimensional developmental methods two dimensional developmental methods so girls this is a gradient method it is a gradient method why because throughout the chromatographic experimental procedure you are not sticking to one mobile phase you are changing the mobile phase so it is a gradient technique so what happens i will take my paper first then this is the origin this is the mobile phase chamber one development is over suppose first uh, if i am using butanol acetic acid and water is my first mobile phase development is over then what can i do i can simply take out the paper dry it let the paper dry then again you can rotate the paper by 90 degrees you rotate the paper by 90 degrees you rotate the paper by 90 degrees and you keep it in the one more mobile phase for example phenol and water phenol and water is one more mobile phase then some more components will separate so what happens in gradient this two dimensional developmental method you can use different mobile phases on the same paper and you can extract you know separate many components which are present in the complex mixture now coming to the location of detection we will see suppose girls if you are confident location or detection location or detection if your components are colored you can see them directly after the separation process if your components present in the mixture are colored you can directly locate them with your naked eye but if your same compounds if they are colorless then how do you locate that spots or how do you detect that spots this can be done with the help of locating agents or detecting agents or they are also called as spraying agents they are also called as spraying agents suppose if you are if you have separated mixture of amino acids you have done chromatography you have taken the paper from the mobile phase then you have a dried it you cannot see anything on the paper paper will be like same what you have done like before it, you cannot see you cannot visualize anything on the paper but on the same paper if you spray in my green if you spray ninhydrin reagent you can observe that you know purple to whitish whitish compounds on the paper so you can observe the spots or you can locate the amino acids by the spraying of ninhydrin reagent this is the example for a detecting agent